I mean, I mean, the magician was never really like a. The, he was never a bad guy. Well, he he was never really a good guy. He made you like pay for. Uh, for lives. Yeah, for the chance to get lives. So it's not like he was ever really just like completely on your side. He was profiting. He was a, just a business dude. And really, he was just the messenger for, uh, hey, hey, Batilla said this. Go do this thing, Rayman. I, I'm certainly not going to do it. You think I'm a good guy? <laughs> no, I got I got hey, it. Hey, we're like, doing Spyro, by the way. Yeah. For those of you watching on So YouTube. we talked about Yu-Gi-Oh! during uh, Rayman. We did. We talked about a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! You, you wanna, we finished what, Rayman. It's what, done. What anime do you want to talk about for Spyro? Oh, I, we talked about Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we segued into talking about Inuyasha by the end of it. Then I read a bunch of Rayman reviews. Yeah. Which were accurate. We didn't get to watch... Uh, if not t- totally objective. We didn't get to watch Dragon Ball Super or... Uh, Jojo today. Yeah, it's for they're just doing. I think they're doing some kind of Memorial Day. Uh, they did something. Hold on, hold on. Don't tug. <laughs> Remember that was a thing. Like what? there were apparently a bunch of like magazines aimed at kids with like PSA stuff, and there were like traditional stuff like you know, hey kids, uh, don't do drugs, stay in school. But there was also one which was like, hey kids. Don't, don't touch That's yourself. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't, I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? That was weird. I think that, slot two. Yeah. I think the argument that those people try to make is the same as the weed argument. It was, oh, it'll, it'll eat up your whole life. You won't get anything productive done. <laughs> Which, you know, you can, you can, you can jack off in moderation. That's a thing. Yeah. Everything in moderation. Hand me a pillow. I'm gonna get okay. Prime, uh, game Prime game. What play. do you got for us, Alora? Oh, oh, this is. We're this. here. We're back in Winter Tundra. Nothing's changed. You don't have all the gems in World Two. I did not do a secret stream without you. Just okay. play, sitting down for some Spyro. Oh, no. Ripto's still alive, and he's lost us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for this. Oh no! Crystal. You mean I didn't squash him? I need to squash Ripto. If you can collect enough orbs. You'll be able to get so no more talismans. We got all of those. We, we heard this already when we last played. Just FYI. Uh, yeah. So these levels just have orbs in them. We just gotta collect the orbs. And really, I'll bet... Just humor me. Go to go through that door there. And, uh-huh. up, and up the stairs. I want to see if we have enough orbs to take on Ripto now without doing anything in this world. Oh, you mean this? these old things? Yeah. Just dump some... I don't know, that'd be... We're not... I mean, should we? Just not- just go straight to Ripto? Alright, we're done! That was the stream! See ya! Maybe, let's just- See if she'll open the door. Just go talk to her. Are there levels here? There are, yeah, like, two or three. Yeah, we get it! Orbs, you mean these things? (laughs) Uh, no, let's- I uh, thought they were fancy ice cubes! Let's, uh... Let's get our- let's make sure- let's make damn sure nobody's gonna, like, you know, like, um, do an uprising in Ripto's name after we're done with them. Yeah. So let's, let's quash any and all rebellion. Let's go take care of some levels first. Like a real dragon should. I can see you've learned the value of orb, Spyro. This touch yeah. should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. You mean it was having problems? Metropolis. Metropolis. Oh, we're going to play some Superman 64. Oh, God, we're going to fight Superman. It's okay. If he controls anything like he did in that game, I think we're probably at, we out-air him. <laughs> Sp- ah! Spyro cannot fly and is more aerodynamic than Superman. <laughs> well, Spyro's got wings. Oh, it's Robo City! Beep. Boop. Get her, get her. What? Pigs. Hello, Rocket Pig. I liked Rocket Raccoon better. Oh, it's okay. Oh, he's just... just waiting for the bus. That's cool. Well, do we even need to get involved? There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. So what's your problem, sir? This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. Hey, Robo we Sponge. To restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. Everything is chrome in the future. <laughs> Robo Trumps. <laughs> Don't want to let these flesh and blood farm animals into so our So there society. are in, there are like biodomes. Go charging off that ledge right there to the right. Yeah, just straight off. 
Uh, oh! The invisible walls from the first game are back, but now they're force fields for futuristic! Oh, that's pretty cool. Spyro's just been, uh... Talking about Spyro having way too many orbs, more than he's supposed to. Oh, it's a farm animal uprising. You think he's just been, like, eating them? <laughs> Not realizing they're worth anything? Oh, the... Uh, you know, <laughs> dragons eat jewels, right? <laughs> Spyro, you've been eating the orbs? With all the budget cuts, the elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just get a good whack, though. But, but, budget cuts to... To infrastructure? Wow, this really is the future. In Trump's America. <laughs> Sorry, Robo Trump's Robo America. Robo. It's not real. It's not real. We're it's not a totally fictional world. Oh. It uh, really is just Tom Kenny holding his nose. That's. I mean, it uh, you remember you have a head bash now. Oh. Jump and triangle. Yeah, you're right. Triangle. Someone told me during our last, well, my secret stream that didn't happen is that there's a, a tech. That I didn't know about. Uh huh. If you uh, jump and then hit square and circle at the same time, you get a very slight. You start charging at the top of your jump, and you get a tiny bit extra air. And so, you can get to a little some areas. Ah, fucking. You can get to some areas you're not supposed to with it. Oh, so if I jump and then I hit square and circle at the same time. Square and X. Jump and hit jump and X, or jump and square at the same time. All right. So like that. Uh, without rotating the camera. Oh. Yeah, you get a very slight extra air than you otherwise would have. It's interesting. <gasps> oh, I see what they're talking about. What? Because... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, holy shit! So if I just do this, I, it's just like... I'm like Rayman helicopter. Yeah. But this is almost another jump. It's a... a yeah, it's like a mini double jump. Which you're not required to do anywhere. You can get a couple of areas you're not supposed to without it. Or with it. Oh, that's cool. Keep underestimating that laser. I gotta get behind them. Remember, you also have a charge that is an attack. I think the cows are probably too big. Stupid it, fucking laser cows! Moo moo, motherfucker. <laughs> So there's just a bunch of farm animals have gotten into the armory and staged an uprising. <laughs> That's great. This, this is like some... What do robots even need to farm animals for? Uh... I guess like leather products? Leather or... They don't, maybe they just have them. Maybe, they don't need milk or meat. Maybe they developed like uh, like sentience and, and they're just like, no, you're a second class citizen. Or maybe they're farming them for the organic creatures. Like maybe that's the that's the most profitable way to be a farmer, right? Is you're making you're farming something that you they sell need, to others that you don't use. They need to feed the humans. They're keeping inside the matrix something. That is killer, obviously. That yeah. pit of electric. It's like we tried liquefying the dead, and that's just making them insane. So we'll just feed them cows. Yeah, this is just this is the nicer side of the matrix continuity. <laughs> These are our robot masters farming animals to feed us. Then a dragon shows up and is like, what the fuck? Dead. Sorry, I'm not used to, like, these enemies in this level. I mean, all enemies in this game are the same. You just flame them if they're not metal, charge them if they're metal. It's that simple. I'm not used to hog suicide bombers. Yeah. They need the, uh... They need the kamikaze screams from Serious Sam. Yeah. Ah! Oh, at walking eggs? Oh, yeah, I guess those are the... Those are the health critters. Can you imagine a Spyro MOBA? That'd be weird. Oh, right, that exists. It's called Nibs. <laughs> yep, Nibs jokes. I wasn't trying to make one. I was actually thinking of, like, because those are creeps. They're just little health... Neutral health critters. Yeah. The... I... That would... Yeah. It would need other characters in Spyro before anything. And it, we get that in Spyro 3, but... Sky, Spyro the... Skylanders MOBA, I think, is what they would do, and Spyro would be a character. I think I mentioned this before, is that uh, there were plans at a point... I'll let you talk to him real quick. As you can see, a vicious axe has just... taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. No. 
The ox is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. Okay, let's bomb the ox. Oh, why are you trusting me, a dragon? Because you're not, we don't eat dragon. Can't feed dragon to humans. It's too crunchy. The scales will- Too many jewels in the blood. So, they were, there was talk of making Spyro into a, uh, an MMORPG. Of course there was. There always In is. which it was like a... No, this was a while ago. I think in like the mid-PS2 era or something. But they wanted to do it so that it was like a hundred years later or something and Spyro was now king of the king of the realm and he was a big dragon. Oh, okay. So he, he And you were playing as your own character serving King Spyro. Oh, uh, I... I serve... <laughs> Imagine that, but with Sonic. Like, yeah. it's King Sonic. How the fuck am I supposed to, uh... uh... Can you not eat the bombs? If so, try flaming them. I tried flaming them, they just explode. Well, don't flame them, like, too right in front of your face. How do I... We'll never regain control of the armory without your help. You have two total moves. Try charging it, try flaming it. One of them will work. Charging is not... It doesn't work on ice, because... Okay, happens. then I guess you have to flame them. And not... Be inches from your face. Sorry. Uh, uh, so I, I've noticed this over the past several Spyro streams. Is that you think this game is way more complicated than it is? You tend I'm, to overthink it a lot. I'm yes. I, I, I am. You are correct. Am I not supposed to be on the ice? You are. You just need to be better. No trick. Just gotta be out on the ice and flame them into him. Okay. I tried because I thought I it did it and it didn't work. That's all. Oh man. He's firing him at the same the same interval. So if you can line yourself up in front of him, you can just shoot straight back like this. There's there one. Go. Oh, now he's altering his. Uh... He needs the, uh, he needs the yak voice from Spyro. Uh, from Sly. Ah, uh, darn it. He can't- Let's That's the thing, Spyro doesn't, he doesn't ever stop. He's not, like, steady no, on doesn't. the ice at all. No, he can't stop on ice. Yeah. So I'm going to have to- We'll never re- I mean, in theory, his health bar doesn't reset if you get off the ice, does it? I don't think so. So you could just walk back and line yourself up again, couldn't you? That sounds about right. Let me... His health bar disappears. The question is, does it reset? Like, walk up to him and he'll fire one straight now. And then you can fire immediately back. No, too... Too, uh, too quick. I guess you could also just tank it right in front of him, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, he's got one more hit than you. He's got the same amount of hits as you. Suicide Bomber Spyro. Hey, it worked for the pigs. They just need one more hit. <laughs> okay. It worked for the pigs, but they died from it. All right, here's what I'll now, do will his health bar reset? Just try going out straight. No, it doesn't. Okay. Got him. One! <laughs> just... Excellent <laughs> work, Dragon. We can now defend our city. It was our easy! Weapon. And then he just collapses. Visually pleasing reward. Visually pleasing mm. reward. It's nice to hear robots be robots without constantly talking about how inferior squishies are. Yeah. We're just a bunch of robots. We like humans. You can also jump the laser. Mm. He won't track it up with you. Oh, I already beat the guy. Ow! Broken neck. He's a dragon. Dragon bones are one of the hardest substances on her, on the face of any fantasy game. You know how hard dragon bones are? You make uh, weapons out of them and yeah. armor. Sure do. There we go. Oh. Eh. 
What's up? Nothing, never mind. Oh man. So I remember this level. I remember a farm level, a swamp level, and I think those are the only three I remember in this world. Let me fight Ripto. Yeah. And calm his rage. You're working today, though, so we're not gonna be able to do all that. Nope. We'll just do an hour spire. We'll see what we get done. Then we'll come back, come back next time, and maybe. I guess we we're really thorough with these levels. If yeah. we got all the gems, we wouldn't have to do another secret stream. Hopefully not. And we could just go straight from beating Ripto to the post game. Which I, actually, fight. you don't need to. You don't need all the. You can head bash that. Oh yeah, it's. You don't need all of the gems to access the post game, so we could do that anyway. It's just again that super flame power up. Yeah, the the one which is in, which is useless. Functionally. He's a big uh, too big to charge. Well, that shield was useless. I think you caught him in the frame and he was just moving it. Good old roast beef. The cows have teamed up with the bulls. And, the and so we, we arrive at the main level area. Go on, talk to the dude. What do you got for me? Oh, sorry, ah. lady. Pharaoh, I oh yeah, you. don't you know? Thank you for your what? This coop. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we got that. There are these farm animals. You see, they're uh, they're doing a little bit of an uprising, don't you know? <laughs> what? Why? For Avalar, a combination power up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. Oh. Invading sheep in their spaceship must be stopped. Invading sheep in their spacious. What? Those are sheep? They have no wool. Okay, gotta take out the sheep. Maybe that's like, uh. It's like oh, jargon. Maybe it's like jargon and they're actually like something else. They're actually just, uh. They're actually just an alien race with no will of their own. They're just really followers. Yeah. We got them! Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This orb device is proof of your skill. The female it's droids... It's like that Fargo officer trying to act like a robot. The female droids just learned their, their English from the movie Fargo. <laughs> there was a dude, apparently at a convention, who told... I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. Oh, there are more the sheep. Kill, right. kill the new sheep. Sure. There was a dude that the Achievement Hunter guys met, like Michael and Gavin, Jeff, at, uh, at a convention, who was like Indian or something, and told them that he learned to speak English from watching their YouTube videos. <laughs> he, 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 like he knows every, all the swear words. Every third word was fuck. <laughs> His English is very good. He knows all the swear words. Not very polite, but he he knows it well. I really fucking like you guys, you motherfuckers. I learned to speak English from watching your fucking videos, it's assholes. Like, it's like uh, that Elvis American dude in uh, Abenobashi. You remember that scene? Uh, yeah. How about some fucking hot dogs, kid? You like some fucking hot dogs? <laughs> and some, put some fucking ketchup on them. God damn it! <laughs> Gonna. Where, where are the rest of the sheep bombers? I think that's the one scene ah. from Abenobashi that is somewhat known. People mean that one. What's a fucking hot dogs? How how anime sees Americans? And I wonder what how did nice they react to him? They were just like, eh, hey, thank you for my double power up just invention. Just funny. Here, keep this to commemorate <laughs> your victory. So we're gonna see a bunch of those elsewhere, right? Better They're than gonna us. be all over Avalar. No, you're just gonna keep them for this world, huh? What? Making some kind of hand sign. I was making a hand. I X'd them. Oh. I don't know. So we're done with... Are we done? Yeah. If you're not going to track down all the gems, then we'll just... Did We got all the orbs. So, did you, uh... Oh, hey. How's this end? Oh, we stopped the invasion. The uprising has been quelled. Maybe 
you are better off with the pigs. What a... That's worse than the intro cutscene was. <laughs> yeah, we left them in a worse position. Are the are the robots gonna get their revenge? In remember the other when one? the what? Remember when the the goat dude fucking murdered one of his friends in lava? Yeah, it's the... funny. It's, it's funny, funny ending scene. Oh man, so there was a. What's the? We all we go to conventions sometimes, right? Now and like, again, uh, not too often, but and conventions like those are pretty decently run, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you talking? So, you're gonna start talking about a badly run convention. Uh, are you familiar with DashCon? I think you've mentioned it to Robotica Farms. More robots. This is just Robot World. We're fighting robots. Is that the one that you've mentioned to me before? The one that failed horribly? Uh, I've mentioned. There's another. There, I've mentioned all the stuff that failed horribly. The that, this isn't a music festival. This oh is no. Just a then, con. Then probably not. Is this like Rainbow Dash? It's is the, the pony thing? No, it's a Tumblr. Okay. Oh, I think. I think I heard about this. Go on, though. Uh, so... Oh, so the robots are the bad guys this time. <laughs> what the fuck?! No, oh, ah, bu oh, the oh. bugs got him. So... Howdy, Spyro! Howdy! Your pests have been oh, our farm. Could you find the time... Is that one fucking down? robot from... Fucking, uh... New Vegas. Yeah. The Fallout game. Just farmer robots. That's this Find level. Your way over to the giant bug lamp and gotta... turn it on so we can zap any more invading pets. We can't reach the the power switch. Howdy, oh, Spyro. So it's just killing bugs. Oh God damn it! With fireable projectiles. So Dashcon, the Instagram. So, no, not Instagram. Tumblr. Uh, Tumblr. So in. You have one. What's the look one? Try one. Yeah. Them bugs are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them bugs bug me. Are you gonna be able to talk about this and play at the same time? No. Uh, this will have to wait. But I guarantee you, it's a fucking crazy story. Are you gonna kill it? You're gonna triangle aim? There we go. So. It was a, a convention that was like, originally, it was originally called TumblrCon, but yeah. Tumblr got involved and like, no, you can't call our fucking thing TumblrCon, sorry. So then they just called it DashCon. Yeah. And, uh... I think you can charge those? And they... It was a sad convention. Just people were lining up and, and it was like a nearly abandoned, uh like convention center there was nothing going on and for convention i feel like you can't just book a big place immediately you gotta like uh, build your way up yeah like uh back when sakura con was still just still called baka con they ran out of like uh the basement of a of like a comic shop yeah so you know you do what you gotta do just like save money but they didn't they didn't budget well so oops so as a result of this, uh, this is actually kind of just sad. They they ran out of money really quickly, and at the day of the convention, when people ever, when all these people paid for their tickets, mind you, yeah, they had to go and they had to say, hey, they're gonna kick us, get the fuck, out. they're gonna kick us out if we don't have if they if they we don't get in more money. So they ask people who already paid money to be there to like pay more money, and yeah. like they ran a fundraiser and they reenacted that fucking scene from uh, from uh, Hunger Games when they see that girl die and everybody raises their hand. They actually did this. Yeah, I, I have no idea what scene you're talking about. I've never okay. seen Hunger they Games. They reenacted a movie scene and uh, and uh, so. So they get the money, but as a result, all the artists that were there, like, selling stuff, because, you know, that happens in most conventions. You got, like, yeah. art, art, artists selling artwork and stuff. They couldn't, like, sell very much, because everybody paid paid their money, like, yeah. to it. Then a bunch of, like, acts that were supposed to be there, most notably, like, the Welcome to Night Vale people, if you ever heard of those, like, no. that podcast. No. But, yeah, they, they were really popular, and, uh, and they, uh... So fucking confusing, this layout. I think you're just not 
able to pay attention. Finish. How much of your stories left? As, so a bunch of acts canceled. A bunch of people wanted their money back, and then they tried to. And then the organizers said, "Hey, no, it wasn't our fault." Anyway, we're gonna do this uh, convention again, but in another state, and nobody bought it. By the way, this is all crowdfunded. Yeah. God damn it! People are abusing. So they just. Uh, People who weren't very good at organizing so, tried to do something they shouldn't have. So a bunch of people who paid money to see acts that no longer showed up, you know what they got in compensation? What? A free hour in the ball pit! Oh. When I say ball pit, I don't mean like like a, like a giant like a Chuck E. Cheese or ball pit or... Uh, yeah. Or something. Is it like, just like a kiddie pool with balls in it? Yes. Yeah, it was literally that. People were just sitting there, just, just like, <laughs> looking miserable. It's the saddest convention ever. I've been to conventions. Convention, conventions can be fun. Remember, we went to uh, the uh, Rose City Comic Con. Yeah. And that was a, that was a pretty fun experience. And oh man, that that, I mean that's still a fire festival. I, I, I probably talked about fire festival. I don't remember if you did on stream or not. That was the really bad music thing they tried to do. Yeah, it was uh, basically supposed to be like the... Uh, like, imagine a, a, a music festival designed for, like, Instagrammers and, like, people like that. The, the generation of, like, rich, like, kids who want, like, the uh, the modern-day, like, ex like, vacation Woodstock. experience. No, no, it was not less Woodstock and more... Well, uh, no. Aspiration-wise, they wanted, like, a modern hipster Woodstock. Modern hipster Woodstock with, like, all the rich accommodations and stuff. They were advertising, like, like really, like, villas and, like, the best food and stuff like that. Yeah. But the thing is with Woodstock is that they didn't promise all that. They just said, hey, we're going to get a bunch of, like, mus musicians together. Bring your own food and, like, tents and shit. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, is very pragmatic. It's, like, you rough it and you see you're here all these it's still it's a it's a format that works basically yeah. meanwhile these guys wanted to like build infrastructure and like you know all these like uh beach part that have this like beach party aesthetic to it it just it, it was gonna require a lot of money yeah and money for tickets which were going at like one thousand two hundred dollars a pop yeah and with tickets up to like a quarter of a million uh -huh. but nobody bought the quarter of a million ones all of them bought, like, the really cheap ones, which, you know, considering that it was for, like, two weeks in the Bahamas, yeah. it was, like, uh, it was a pretty good deal. I can't fucking get these guys to save my life. You All can right, try to triangle aim. Not enough time. They're, they'll then get, get a step farther back. Get further away. Right, there, there we go. go. There we go. Whew! So day, so a bunch of people get their tickets. They're, they're out of money, basically. They're like, hey, we should postpone. Yeah. And the guy organizing it, a con artist, uh, posing as an entrepreneur called Billy McFarland, and uh, and his uh, co-sponsor, Ja Rule. Yeah. Have you ever heard of him? Nope. Uh, he's a has-been rapper from the 90s. Oh. He, they basically were like, no, we'll push on, because it was their dream, basically. Yeah. Keep in mind that the that uh, McFarland's only other business, uh, like, uh, uh, ad adventure, basically, was uh, when he was uh, doing, uh, he did this uh, credit card company called Magnesis, yeah. and it, it was basically nothing. It was like, just, hey, we're, we have magnetic credit cards. We have Visa or MasterCard to back it? No! Yeah. And that was Magnesis. <laughs> so, the day of the festival arrives, and a bunch of people pull up in a school bus to the grounds, and it's just a bunch of FEMA tents. Yeah. Literal FEMA tents. And... No? Uh, nope. That's nothing for now. Alright. So, just so a bunch of tents. You can't go up there. You cannot get up there from here. Oh, not even using the trick? No, well, probably not. You're not supposed to get up there from here. I, I could possibly make it work. So they arrive, and then there's... For the for, for the first few hours, there's no food. But there is free tequila! Oh. Got plenty of and, that, huh? And from what, I'm, from what I'm told, tequila is the most aggressive booze. Oh. So, that's not good. 
Yeah. And then food arrives, and rather than like gourmet like chef food, you know what they got? What? Uh, uh, two slices of bread and a single piece of craft cheese. Oh. With a dry salad. Yeah. If you've eaten salad dry, you'll know it's like the one of the worst things in the world. Yeah. From, so it's, from their perspective. It's, it's crappy. It's not food. Yeah. Also, uh, top-notch security is actually just lockers without locks. Uh, lockers? A lot of people's luggage was getting, like, stolen. Yeah. Uh, nobody knows who got what, so as a result, it's a free-for-all. So people who paid, like, more for more expensive tickets... Got the same thing as everyone else. Yes. So that, that was fair. Nice and fair. Where's the... Lamp. Am I missing something? No, a map. you got more level yet. There's a mini map, right? There was. Where'd it go? Is that an option you can turn off? It's an option. It's in the options. Did you turn it off? Uh, how long have we been going? Uh, like 30 minutes? Something like I was waiting, I was curious how long it'd take you to notice. I turned it off during my stream that didn't happen yet. Okay. Okay, spin the win. So they fed them garbage food and no security and- And they, oh! They and and people were like, them. hey, you know what? We're here to see some musical bands, let's just make the most of it. And you know, you know the 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 the, the setup for the bands wasn't the most like top-notch thing either. Yeah. And and it was like kind of sometimes dangerous. Uh and you know you know how many people uh, pulled out? Everyone? Yes! Every single fan, like act that was supposed to be there pulled out. Some of them were never even confirmed to go in the first place. Like, uh, but they said they would. Yeah, then to get the people there. So there was no music yeah. and no food, no party. It was there's no festival, and people were basically going to the embassy for help at this point. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind that, that, that this this was supposed to be on a private island. It wasn't. It was basically in like the. Where am I going? It was basically it in the parking lot of like a chain resort yeah. called Sandals. And people were like, okay, let's just go to the fucking Sandals. And unfortunately, they were all booked up, so that was a no-go. Yeah. Then finally, the Bahamian government stepped in and was like, okay, this festival shut down. They proceeded to lock everybody that was there in a room for like a few hours before people passed out. It was a mess. I sounds it. Seven lawsuits later, the, the guy was... Uh, Arrested for fraud. The guy who organized it. Yes. The rapper or the other guy? The other guy. The rapper during this was doing a concert. Where the fuck am I going? You can try going up. That's where I was going. I. All right. Uh. You're heading the right way. Okay. So down here. No. Invisible walls. Oh, okay, I see. I was confused for a second. Uh, so two examples of how not to do a convention. Yeah. It just goes to show, like, doing stuff isn't as easy as it looks. Yeah. Except for video games. Video games are exactly as easy as they look, and if you fail, you suck. Isn't that right? Get good, scrub. <laughs> I'm just trying that to That reminds me of a guy in the... I don't think it was on stream. There was a guy in the Awesome Knots global chat who was just going on a rant about, Oh, Ronimo are stupid faggots. They should just find what? investors. They actually said it's, uh, it's, it's stupid. It was like a high schooler who had taken one business class, I'm sure, and thought he knew all about how to be the best, most profitable th business in the world. Yay. And he was saying how the solution to all of the game's problems was a really, really big media advertising campaign. That's how the, that's how all, all like, amateur businessmen think. And how they just need to get everyone to know about it, and, well, Ronimo doesn't have the money. They need to find investors. They need to find... Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the, the easiest thing. In the, that's the easiest thing in the world. Like, yeah. finding, you know, finding true love is just about, you know, finding the person. It couldn't be easier. <laughs> Man, I, I, I really want to get published, so what, what do I do? I'll just get published. 
I'll just go to- I'll just go start talking to- I'll go to a rich neighborhood and start knocking on people's doors. Go door to door, beat feet. Like, they already t had two Kickstarters. Crowdfunding is done and out. They burn that up, yeah. Oh, there's a dude to talk to. Sweet. I know you're gonna have fun with this one. Oh, wait, am I not doing the right- I am. I shouldn't be mashing, though. Uh, no, you might- I think you just missed the jump. Yep. Oh, man. I like- I like seeing, uh, reading about, like, projects and people that failed. That utterly yeah. failed. Just- Cause, A, it's a good indication of, like- I just mashed again. Yeah. It's a good indication of, like, what not to do when it comes to, like, certain things. And also, it's just funny. They did a Did You Know Gaming recently on, uh, failed Kickstarters. Several of, <clears throat> several of which were people posting just their ideas for hey just fund this and then we're gonna we're gonna hire the writers and the artists and everything else we need for a game we don't have any of that yet we just have a very very loose kind of idea hey guys you can trust us you know what the best kind of Kickstarters are that there's ones that actually you know have a product yeah and not just an idea I'm looking for the best, the ideas that, like, like, are successful are ones that actually, they're actually, like, 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 you already have, like, the product. You just need, like, the Kickstarter to, like, make more of it. What if I could crowdfund an animated series? Uh, do you have artists? Nope. No, then probably not. Probably not. Unless you want to just pocket the money and run. Now but, that'd be bad. But oh, by the way, No Man's Sky official release date coming up. Oh really? I thought it was already released. I don't, I heard someone talking about it coming up. I don't know. What? They but they released it. Is there an HD version coming out or a remaster? Are you sure? Or uh, maybe there's an update where they act. They're trying to actually add all the shit they promised. I think that might be it. <laughs> Oh shit, we need to- we need to actually add stuff that we promised and not- Are you not gonna kill those sheep? Uh, yeah, I probably should. Giant robot carrots! I- I saw a Kickstarter once, which was- Don't- uh, don't charge, you loot- don't go as far that way. Oh. And don't mash. There, there we, we go. go. What do you got for me, farmer? I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you could knock him down with a bit of a supercharge? Oh, here we go. The supercharge challenge. Four here, stars. Here we go. You need precision without the ability to stop and think. Fuck. I'm back up again! There's, uh, that spot you were looking at earlier with the round thing next to the cliff is now a whirlwind, so that's a shortcut back up. Oh, that is? If you go back Over around here? the way you're going, yeah, to the left. Follow the wall to the left. Follow the left more. wall. More, okay. Continue the left wall. The left wall. The so, left wall. Turn around. Oh, God damn it! Uh, turn around. You You're vague as fuck, man! That wall. Other that's way. That's right. What? No, that's the wall on your Arr! left. Continue following it. But you weren't looking at it, so I didn't think you were following it. It's nothing vague about it. It's You're... the wall on your fucking left. There we go. Damn, I'm fucked! I'm seeing you struggle with the controls of this game. The, the controls suck! I don't think they do. They work fine for me. Oh, you said you're working at six, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what time is it? Uh, it's not even four yet, so we got potentially another hour if we wanted to. Okay. Maybe we could do this whole world's orbs. Maybe. Let's, let us see. Now, the question is, should I just... Should I just assume you're not going to be able to do this one because it's supercharging? 
It, I, and do it. I struggle with that, yes. Just think fast, motherfucker! And because you have to go all the way back up again if you fall oh off. My God. Oh, you do it one more time, then I'll take over. Okay, so. I'm just gonna turn fall. left immediately. Take this thing out, probably. Yeah. I missed it. Take this thing out. Giant robot pumpkins. Left, and then a right. And then a jump. And then a jump. And then... So I have to get all three of those. No, there's... You jump off to that... You see that area there? Oh, yeah. And then there's With more pumpkins. Uh, Without right. stopping. And it goes all the way back there. Fuck. All the way around the level. Rayman is still harder. Yeah, that it is. Again, this game would benefit from, I think we said this in a previous stream, from reset points like in Tony Hawk 4. Yeah. Oh my god. Over to me. <sighs> I'm better at Link to the Past and I'm disappointed I can't show you. Yeah. I mean, you can. We talked about possibly, maybe, doing it doing at least one, one off. Yeah. So if you are interested, and then if you aren't, I'll just continue it with somebody, like Moro or something. Somebody. Alright. Oh, we got a rock. Is that, was that affecting my, uh, my balance, no. you think? No, I just didn't realize it was in there. Back to Jack. Here Fuck. Was, dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. You washed it, right? Right? <laughs> Boss, Spyro. Alright, what do we got left? Oh, down in the... You passed by one guy who had, and I think is the other orb. And not is... over there. No. I think Where? it's down to the left. This way? Yeah, down where the whirlwind is. Okay. Near break. Okay. You've gone through the windmill and ahead that way. This way? Yep. Okay. So keep going through the level and I'll, I'll let you know when you hit him. Okay. So, uh... I discovered a new podcast recently. Yeah. Uh, it's called The Last Podcast on the Left. Yeah. It's about, it's like a comedy podcast. Yeah. Keep this in mind. And they're talking about, the topics range from everything from like, government conspiracies to serial killers and stuff. Yeah. And it's just, it's very fascinating because they do their research on it. Yeah. And I don't know why, I just can't help but like, listen to it and just be like, oh fuck. That guy. Alright, cool. These darn bugs are making a joke of my expensive rapidly. robot scarecrows. Can you chase them down and flame them, Spyro? Flame the bugs. Also four stars. So they're in those piles of hay to the right. Oh. Oh, that. Why are you electrifying the water, guy? It kills the bugs faster! One of them? One down. Oh, so this is relatively simple. No, fuck! A, there's no time limit. B, they don't respawn. That's good. That we know of. Remember, you get better glide universally by not charging. Wait. Oh, one respawned. Oh. And two respawned. Or 
Okay, there's one more. Where is it? Where'd it go? I don't know. Where keep going it around. Go? Keep going around, I guess. Till you see it. It's not on this one. Oh, fuck's sake. You can see him on the scarecrows. So it's you not this one. 21 skidoo. There he is. The silent electrocution. No. Fuck! One more appeared on a different scarecrow. Not this one. Keep going, you see it? Yeah, I see it. Hold well, on, I'm gonna get wait for them to all gather again. And well, they out. don't move until you walk up to them. I'm just uh, waiting for those guys to fly down. Do you think you would have played Spyro if you'd been introduced to it as a kid? As a, if I was on the PS uh, One, yeah. Oh, you didn't really. You didn't have any PS One games. I was a, I was a N sixty four SNES. I, I had that as well. So, but you have to understand that that my choices in gaming were very limited. Yeah. Why's that? Just you know finances. Okay, that's any kid. Well, I'm not. I'm not blaming. Do I need you to for talk anything. about this on stream? Um, no. No, good. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. I was just saying that's every kid's experience is not having money for games and having a pool of like ten yeah. games that they so, play over and over again. So my pool was on SNES. Yeah. And the. Uh, yeah, I just was never really big into... That's why I asked, just hypothetically. I don't know, I was very... What drew me to certain games was just like... I don't know, like, RPGs were more, 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 more my jam. Especially the action-y stuff. Yeah. Ah, fuck. <laughs> like... Like, uh, the game... Like Lagoon? <laughs> I had a like, Lagoon and Illusion of Gaia as a kid. Lagoon was far worse to play than uh, ah, look. than uh, Illusion of Gaia. Illusion of Gaia was pretty fun to play. What's the battle system in Illusion of Gaia? Uh, oh. Action RPG. Action, like, top-down. You hit things oh, to like, kill them. Oh, uh, like Zelda? Yeah. And uh, leveling in that game is, uh, is interesting. To level in that game, you have to, uh, you have to kill all the enemies on the screen. Yeah. Or, you, or if you miss some, you kill a boss. You kill a boss. Genocide mode. Yes. The thing is that enemies in that game, they didn't respawn. Yeah. Respawn, so. So there's a finite number of, um, amount of XP. Yeah. I am fucking wretched at this. Let me know if you want to hand off. What the? F I, just, I guess the other one didn't move. You have a harder time chasing him that way. Hey. There we go. My fields are safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Hey. Take this doodad. I was doing it all along. Uh. Also, the story in Illusion of Guy was very not, uh, collect the seven things to make a wish against yeah. the evil Dark Lord. No, it was more intricate. It involved, like, uh, 
like a comet and like cycles of evolution. It was very, it was very interesting. Is that all the orbs on this level? I think so. Yep. All right. Let's exit the level. Yep. Yeehaw! Did it. <laughs> so we're helping robots. It's so weird. Yeah. Helping robots kill the squishies. It's okay though. They're bugs. Robots versus insects. Oh man, that reminds me, there was this one movie that was made, it was called Robots vs. Zombies. Yeah. Or something, and it uh, was... Monsters vs. Aliens? Well, no, it was like this, uh, it had this, this, like, famous action actor, and it was a bunch of robots, and they were, like, like, develop, they were... Not developed to hunt zombies, but they ended up hunting zombies anyway. Yeah. They weren't like, you know, human-like robots. They were these giant, like, sci-fi looking things. Oh, yeah? It was fun. It, it was fun looking. I gotta watch that. It looked low budget as hell, though. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh... I don't remember. We are just... It's interesting that, uh... What the fuck? I guess that's just a shortcut. Is that all? Are we done? No, there's a whole area outside the gate. And oh. there's also orbs in the overworld, remember. Oh yeah. Like one or two. So there's... Mystic Marsh. I think That's... there's that and one other level. Okay. So, uh... I yeah, was gonna say, in interesting that the, the farm animals are plaguing the, the city level. And the insects are play playing the farm. What are those things? Illusion of Gaia actually felt like a, a world-spanning, like, adventure. Yeah. With, like, you know, stuff happening. Rather than other, like, games where it's like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Like, like most JRPGs. Know. Yeah. Things just aren't the same since it's our magic found the Water wizard. Hydrar. It sure would help if you could find out Hydrar. what evil force is behind this disaster. It's a program used to hide RAR files. Yeah. Can't let WinRAR find out we didn't pay for it. <laughs> Do you think that's a that's like oh they people are no longer expecting them to pay for WinRAR anymore? I think it's understood. It's basically the same thing as a band putting their music up at one of those websites where you can choose how much you pay for it. Oh, yeah. It's meant, the, the hey, but you should buy one more thing is meant to be an inconvenience. It's just not enough of an inconvenience for people to actually buy it. Uh, any more inconvenience and it becomes not useful anymore and people still won't buy it. Yeah. They'll develop their own thing. Well, because other, other quote-unquote free programs bring like a, like a watermark on images or something like that. Do we have to debase ourselves to eating frogs? Yes. Damn it. It's frog's legs. They're delicious, Spyro. Food is scarce. We've already eaten snails. A game on the PS1, a JRPG I really wanted to play, which I, I thought had like a really... This is just a big, expansive open level, by the way. You can just wander. Awesome. Hey. That was, uh, I probably talked about Xenogears. I may have mentioned it. That's, uh, that's the, that's the one with that, uh, with that, uh, storyline in which is a computer, like, like, uh, You compare it to another game we were playing. Yeah, it was like, there's a game Monster where... Girl Quest? Yeah, like, this is like Xenogears, yeah. So, starting, this game starts with, like, a guy in, like, his hometown, and then, unfortunately, he goes berserk in this mech, uh, by accident, he has to leave, and then, uh... Die, mother... I killed this guy before! The but more it, time you take to kill enemies in this game, the harder they get to kill just because of the camera and shit like that. Yeah. Oops. This is a nice level. I like this level. There we go. I'm devouring frogs to stay alive. Yep. 
I was never interested in RPGs in general, except ones that were so vastly different from the rest of their genre that they didn't feel like RPGs. Like, Pokemon was an innovator in that regard. Keep in mind, I also like to read. Yeah. I enjoy reading, and I... I, I, I really did like, like, I like to read. So, uh, the... So the RPGs were kind of like, you know, oh, yeah, I don't mind the long text stuff because it's, cause it's, it, it's like crazy enough, it's interesting. It had nothing to do with the text for me, I just didn't like the... It, the combat system was big turn-based, yeah, things the, like that. But uh, the uh, Xenogears uh, apparently got crazy, like a cute, there's a cute little critter you can get, like, uh, like and that cute little critter is involved in two, like, kind of crazy scenes. The first one is where it and a bunch of other, like, uh, those critters of the same type have an orgy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so bored sounding? Because I'm not, I'm not really interested in Xenogears. You already told me about it in Monster oh. Girl Quest. And, and then there's the one where he gets crucified. Okay. This cute little thing. <laughs> it's okay. He was turning, he was turning girls into witches. He deserved it. Illusion of Guy doesn't have anything that crazy in it, but there is like a a friend gets separated from you and he apparently turns into a deep one. Wow. For no reason. So Riku. Riku never became Just, a frog. You don't need to stop. You don't need to wait for enemies to attack. Just rush in. The faster, as soon as they're on screen, deal with enemies in this game. And all enemies in this game are made for you to attack them on sight. You should kill us all on sight. Every single one. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta start from the very beginning. From the spawn, Fuck. yeah. Alright. Where are y'all? No! Are you, what are you okay, I, oh wait, I can swim. Never mind. Yeah. Am I fire... Nope, no, you are bubble. Duck. Quack. Oh, just a friendly duck. That's all it is. Oh, I'm sorry, duck. I thought you were unfriendly. Nope. The whirlwind's up there. So all the elephants are dead. Yep. Okay, so they are still dead. All right. I played a lot of Pokemon. I played uh, Paper Mario, obviously. Yeah. And, you like, uh, Mega, you like stuff with interactivity. Mega Man Battle Network was also a favorite of mine and continues to be. Those are games which have a high degree of interactivity. Did well, you try? Uh, did you try to play uh, Chain of Memories? I did. I did too. It was loathsome. It. <laughs> Chain of Memories is one of the oddest, like, combat systems ever. It was too much to keep track of. It's like, real time, but with cards? Yeah. Like, holy shit! For that... every single action, even basic attacks. If it was just skills, it would have been a lot more manageable, but... No, they, they went all in, though. Do I have to go there? No. No, not yet? No. Alright. There's... You can land on the tree. Trees. Hard stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> any game that deep, I I appreciate a deviation from the norm. Yeah, that hard though. What? That hard though with Chain of Memories. Oh, well, no. That I appreciate a devi devi deviation from the norm that still resulted in a fun game. Yeah, that. God damn it, that. Combat. You can. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this. You can swim in that. Ton there's a tunnel at the end of that water there. Oh, sweet. It's not obvious if you don't look for it. And uh, also, the plot was basically a retread of Kingdom Hearts. In a way. Oh, yeah. It was just yeah, it was It was all the worlds of Kingdom Hearts. Just to its sprites now. Yeah. There. It was basically a recap anime episode, but in the format of a game. Also, it was canon, because they did some stuff. That's in, uh, Chain of Memories, like, the story events are included in 1.5, right? I believe so. Uh -oh. There you go. Platypus... Porcupine. Sure. It's a platypine. It's a porcupus. That's good. Baby, baby. That water will kill you because it's just purple. It's, it's poisoned. Yes. Because, you know, 
Poison Marsh Waters. What? Oh, hmm. Snoozle. I must have dozed off there. Gully, looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take <laughs> this orb and um, don't mention my little nap to Hydrar, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. You look like a Muppet. Yeah, they all do. So that's one orb. Where are the rest? We have two more. Look for Nigel Thornberry. He's hanging around around here. Oh, and you jump back down again. Okay, we oh. have the spring activated. We can get back up. Quick. Oh, I thought you meant jump down here. No. That's what I thought you said. Oh, no, wait. There, there are none down here. Oh, that's cool. So I have to go back up there? Uh, yeah, you can take the spring to get up there okay. faster than yeah. all the swimming. Sorry, I'm, I, need to, I need to aim. No. I, I There's another way. Right there. See? Yeah, they got up here. Yeah. Now I have to... Ah, oh, fuck! Get hit by a monkey. Because you did not deal with it immediately! We have to deal with it. Uh, hello. Ah, uh, Spiral of Fancy. Ah! It's Basil! <laughs> Mazel Basil! And I'm stuck here. <laughs> it's like one of my impersonations. Uh, Please get my spark plugs back. <laughs> so it's just a random human with a car. Yeah. He's just exploring. But thieves stole his thought. I, yes. Also, if that's supposed to be a normal man, the Spyro's tiny. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's a little dragon. All right, where is Spark Plugs? What you th you thought he was? Uh, you thought he was like Salumgar sized? This is useless yeah. without all four Spark I... Plugs, I'm afraid. Oh, they're are they're all over. like oh they're they're running around and they're in certain they're in various parts of the level. Oh, so they won't retreat. I mean, they'll chase. They'll. They're like the thieves in the previous game. They'll run along a certain track, and nanny. you have to chase them. Oh. There's one. Nee 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 nee. Oops. Oops. Nope. Don't fall in. The demon's toilet. Don't fall in. This is the useless. devil's toilet. <laughs> you know, oh. Baba just has it in her house. Where do you think she shits? <laughs> Very nice of the thief to wait for you, so you don't lose him. Oh, fuck! Yeah, they swim. Sly! Sly! There's a dragon on your tail! Where'd he go? I know, Bentley. Oh, hello. I'm leading him. This is all part of the plan. I have to memorize. Yep, fast and precise. Sly! Fuck's sake! I hate these thieves. Yeah? This is yeah, useless. Yeah, 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 this is useless, Spyro! It's no. Uh, here, here's what I'm gonna do. The balls are inert! Oh, they. I, the why, balls why are you are stopping? <laughs> the balls are in her. What the fuck? That was a Dragon Ball Z meme. Oh, the, yeah. they, the line, I think it was said in the Funimation. It's after Piccolo gets turned back from being a statue. Oh my god. Fuck! I don't know why I have so much trouble with this. Yeah? Yeah, I, can't, I hear him. There. Oh, do we, do we... I don't know if it'd be any easier. I always use the D-pad. Okay, here's what I'll do. You gonna try going the other way? Oh, shit! He passed by you. <laughs> You're too slow, dragon. <laughs> he does just look like a beige raccoon. What? Oh, no, I fell in the devil's toilet. I can't get up. I can't, I can't get up. You want me to do yeah, it? Yeah, please. I, I don't want to spend like five hours on this. Where are you, thief man? Oh, the monkey's back. I respect you, thief man. Damn it. 
<laughs> yeah, not so easy, is it? I didn't say it was easy. Game over. Alright. Just staring down at a peak. Did we save? I, I assume it saves when you enter and leave every level. Yeah, we know, Laura. Land's in danger. Gotta beat Ripto. I'm collecting orbs. They're shiny. Check to make sure the orbs are still there, I guess. All right, yeah. Did you get all the orbs, Spyro? Was that supposed to be Nigel again? Sorry, Basil. <laughs> Basil Borgner. All right. Starting fresh. Ah, oh, smashing. So, like, I know he's not, like, a creep in the show or anything. He's just a... Uh, yeah. But just the way everybody, like, memes his voice is just, like... Because it's Tim, Tim Curry. God damn it, elephant. Uh, just, like, he makes him creepy as fuck. Yeah. Oh, my eyes are... Oh, my eyes are... We need to get in the car... Yeah, a weird cross between, between like, uh, <laughs> between Snape and a sex offender. He's not that low, he's not as low key as your, he's not Snape at all. I know, I know, but that's how I, I picture him in my head. Yeah? For some reason, just... Especially when he does that thing with his hands. I'll do this with my hands. Ah. Someone synced that up with a song as, as part of a YouTube video. Was it that? I think there was a, di a different one. Eat my words of wisdom. No. Ah, yeah, yeah. No. They, they, there are a few videos that did that, but there was one that... Uh, there was one I saw that I haven't been able to refine since. I don't remember what the song was, though, so... Man, the Beatles' collapse was pretty brutal. The band? Yeah. Did they have a collapse? Like, when they were, like, towards the end of their lifespan, when they were, like, close to breaking up. Yeah. It was just, from all respects, it was just, like, very, just... Bad for everyone involved. Remember, remember when Powerpuff Girls just did a random fucking, uh... Oh, yeah, the beat alls. <laughs> Why was that? What the that was probably the off the top of my head. I think that was the strangest, most out of place Powerpuff episode. Yeah, I was watching it as a kid, like, are they? What the fuck? Because I knew nothing about the Beatles. And it yeah. was. I'm just trying to think of like what these people, what like the process, like we went through an episode about the Beatles. Why? I mean, they made they basically made uh they made the and one of the Animaniacs, Ringo Starr. So why not, right? So, I'm just trying to think, like, okay, we need an episode. What are we going to do? Uh... God. Stop yeah. falling in the devil's toilet! They really made that just tall enough that you couldn't get out again. Yeah. You didn't even get back up to fake Nigel Thornberry. No. See, it's not as easy as it looks. So, uh... Yeah? It's, I, I, Beatles. Beatles except with Powerpuff Girls, like... Well, it was Powerpuff Girls villains. They formed an alliance of evil and called them the Beat Alls. Yeah. And it was treated in like a Beatles documentary style. For no, no reason especially. No reason. None. It, it, it just happened. Ah, Spyro. <laughs> So Timothy Curry, I know, is Nigel Thornberry. He had a character in Jimmy Neutron with the same voice as Nigel Thornberry. Uh, and, uh... He was the clown in original It. Yes. Which I never... I've never seen any incarnation of It, Yo. so... Uh, so... Yeah, basically... I mean, it, so the book had a scene they had to cut out for the TV 
The movie? Yeah, the made-for-TV movie. And I don't know if they have it in the new film. Oh, is it made-for-TV? The original one, yeah. So... Damn it. So in the, in the movie version, they go and they, they kill, as kids, they, like, defeat it for the first time. Yeah. The main movie is just about them going to defeat it for the second time. And, uh, and in the, in the movie, hey, you got it, you got the spark plugs. One of four. Gone. So in the movie version, in the movie version, they just defeat him, and then they just kind of leave. But in the book, they defeat him, but they don't know how to get out, and they're all getting kind of scared. And it's yeah. like four, 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 uh, boys and one girl. So you know what they do? They fuck? Yes! No okay. joke, they do! And they're teenagers, I assume. No! They're, no, they're younger! Oh. What the fuck? This is Stephen King, by the way. Yeah? This like... Just the stuff I, like... I didn't know about this. I was listening to the We Hate Movies episode on, on it, and... And they got to that point, and I'm like... Wait, what? I mean... This is the guy who wrote Carrie. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's not so unrealistic that, you know, 12 year olds would be fucking. <laughs> what, what, how old was Carrie? I don't know. I thought she was in high school. Well, she had just. Part of the story of Carrie is her having her period for the first time. Oh. Well. And. Carrie like, does not necessarily equal, okay, I'm gonna fuck now. It was a bunch of. If the famous scene in Carrie, one of them. Was a bunch of girls? No, 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 no! A bunch of girls in the locker room as she bleeds out, and her them screaming at her to plug it up because she was dying. Oh, you've never heard of that scene? I, I don't remember that. No. Shit. Yeah, Stephen King has never been afraid to, uh, you know, tackle those kinds of gross but real occurrences. Yeah. So. By the way, they were fucking in a sewer, which I don't think I wouldn't ever. Like, want to have sex in a sewer. No. It, it doesn't seem like the most sanitary, uh, or... It, it, it would smell bad. Yeah. Just... I don't know. Oh, so, this guy just runs in a circle. Good pattern. Good pattern. That's one you can easily game. Hey, that was the easiest one. The bird approves. All right, yeah. one more is somewhere. I'm gonna get you, fake sly. You won't escape me. Come on. Oh, you almost got him. So he's a flying squirrel. Yes. Not a raccoon. Nope. I didn't say it was a raccoon, I say it looked like one. He looked like Sly's design. I'll get you next time, ring tail. Whoa! The story behind that was pretty funny. Like, apropos of nothing, we were playing Sly for the first time, I just said I'm that. I'm like, whoa! Here, yeah. Because it sounded racist! It sounded like something. It like, still sounds racist. Something furry racists would say. Like,. Well, and you know what? Because we would be here for another two hours if I had you do this other orb, I'm just gonna do that too. Yeah, go ahead. My, because my. this is probably what is one of the dumbest orbs in the game. <laughs> so, I can't wait to see. Here, I'll, I'll get I'll get to the dude first. The the professor is hanging out back here. He's hanging out somewhere. I just gotta find him. There he is. Ah, Spyro! So oh, glad hey. you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and yeah. I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. An egg for a pencil, please? <laughs> so, trade quests are something you usually associate with RPGs, yes. right? Yes, yeah. Not platformers. Ready for a platformer trade trade quest? Oh, Link's Awakening has, like, the best trade quest, because I think it begins with the... With a Yoshi doll. Here we go, I got an egg. Where am I taking the oh, egg to? Oh, the ducks! Mm, no, I don't think so. It's not the ducks yet. Yet. 
But the ducks do get involved. Yes. It just, you gotta look for various weird, slightly out of place things in the level. God damn it. There'd be no way to, like, fucking figure this out. Nope. Thanks, bird. You get a what? seed. I'm sure it's sanitary. Yeah, it's something that falls out and you hear a. And the seed. Goes in the kettle? No, that would be far too quick and easy. Oh. None shall live. Oh, oh there it is. Gotta go to the pot. Plant the seed. And, and then this is gonna give me a duck. Sure, why the not? Duck. We'll eat the duck. Your duck is fine. I think the ducks have the other way. Nope. Plants give ducks, right? That's how they work? The duck was uh, dead and we grew him. Enjoy! Duck, what do you got? This is me? the Thumbelina of ducks, the Momotaro. It came from a plant. It'll be a great hero someday. Now I got a radish. A f or a turnip. Do, do, do ducks eat turnips? No. What about radishes? No. I don't think. What do ducks eat? I don't have. Aren't they carniv carnivores? No. They eat like fish? I think they. They eat bread. Yeah? What do they eat naturally? <laughs> <laughs> well, no turnip, you fuck, get in there. No, the turnip, you gotta cook the turnip. If I lose this, I have to go back to the duck for another one. <laughs> hey, at least the duck's willing to give you another one. A gold coin? Gold coin. And Still you, no pencil yet. And you give that to... Who the fuck do I give this to? <laughs> give it to the arcade Oh, machine. I remember. The fountain. Oh yeah, you make a wish. I wish for a pencil. No, you wish for. Where's the pencil? There it is. Oh, is that really a pencil? Yep. Oh, that's a thick pencil. It's a thick, short pencil. What do ducks eat? They eat duck feed. What do ducks? Wild ducks eat? Corn, duck pellets, My lettuce, pencil. other now greens. So they just eat. They just eat plants. The here, okay. Lord, now I can calculate the age of the it. universe again. Alright. So that's two very dickish orbs done. Aquatic plants and insects. Oh, he's happy. He's got his and pencil. There's two types of ducks. There are ducks that just eat shallowly, like aquatic plants and insects, and then there are deep diving ducks that eat fish and crustaceans and shit. Oh. So yeah, they do eat fish. Some of them. Damn, I wouldn't be able to figure that out. That would drive me up a wall. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it would. I was considering, hmm, maybe I'll let him try it for a minute, but I realized that nothing good would come of that. You'd just be banging your head against wandering the level for- All right, are we done? Is there one more? Uh, there's one more level. There are orbs in the overworld. And there's the speedway, which I'll probably have to do again. Hey! There's one. There's an orb and a rock. Gemini Rock. Here, here. Two more. All right. Well, let us explore. Did you catch that? Oh, there's something down there. All right. This is like that cliff from Haruhi Suzuki. Oh, right, the one where they, like, fell down. Yeah. And on the beach murder episode. Beach murder party. That whirlwind just goes back up. All right. Hello, bear. Oh, God, bear. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. Gotta oh, do stop. it. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. <laughs> What's he got to say? Oh, there's there's an orb on top of the waterfall. Oh, whoops. You've chosen wisely. Yeah, I've chosen wisely. Alright, let's swim up the fucking waterfall. 
What do you think he is, a salmon? <laughs> Damn it. It's never that easy. Let's swim up the water. Oh, we're here. Let's just do the speedway. Alright. Uh, <laughs> that bodes well. <laughs> speedway time. Whoa! Those are some big horn goats. One second. We got goats, we got cars. We got war rings. And I think there are airplanes somewhere. I crashed. Over to me. Hey, I got one of them! Yeah. Take out the pipers. They live? Who what now? Nothing. Pike! What the fuck? We're just executing a bunch of goats. Yep. Nice maneuver. Goat, I need you. Go! Will I have enough time? That last goat was tricky. It's almost like he didn't want to be killed. By the way, did you hear, like, you remember that game Postal 2? It sounds familiar. What was it? That was that game that uh, you followed this dude and you have to go and, like, handle a bunch of chores around town. But you can, like, kill a bunch of people if, like, you know, you need to. You don't have to, but you can. Yeah. Uh, and it was considered, like, a cult classic. Well, it? they made a Postal 3, but that didn't go over well. So the original devs of uh, Postal, they, they decided to do a DLC for the game, like, for Postal 2, like, years later, called Apocalypse Weekend. Yeah? And, uh, and, oh, man, I haven't seen very many gameplay videos of it, but one of the... Missions you start, you're trying to find your dog, and so you're going around like, uh, like, pardon me, have you seen this dog and people keep running away in terror? And he's steadily getting more and more frustrated. He's like, have you seen this adorable little rascal? Have you seen my dog, sir? Please don't run away. Have you seen my dog? Have you seen my fucking dog? Yeah. Sounds like a John Wick DLC. <laughs> now he knows where his dog is in John Wick. Yeah. Have you seen my... Oh man. You know that, uh, that the Mission Impossible franchise that, that had a game? The, the first game had, like, the first uh, movie had a game made out of it. Yeah. And in that one, if you were a spy and you were just wandering around and you didn't have the proper disguise in, like, the first level, the, the, the guy who you were playing as, I think it was, uh, the main character... Uh, would go, Hi, my name is Fred and I'm looking for my dog. Yeah. And he's in this, like, top secret, like, base. Just... <laughs> I mean, it sounded stupid enough to be true, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. Hey, I got a skill point. Yay. I guess for all the speedways. Alright, time to find the thing. Time to go look for Mr. Hunter, or whoever's here. Traitor! It always seems to be related to Hunter these orbs on these levels. What are you doing over here? All right, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't Why? crash. I can fly! I don't need sure. a plane! Pretty sure it won't crash. Okay, Spyro. Here's what you've got to do. I've got the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Oh, hey! Oh, it's a drone with a machine gun. gun. Use the D-pad analog stick. This guy, this guy invented drones? I knew he was up to no good! He's creating, like, infiltration technology. So yeah, it's just a rail shooter. In which the bullets actually go towards the cursor. Oh. Un unlike Sonic. Oh, you mean the easiest grail shooter ever. I swear to God, there's a There's no overheat. You can just hold it down. Yeah? Yeah. There's this uh, game, uh, this 007 game called, uh, 
007 Nightfire, and I swear to God, like, a good third of the levels involve rail shooters in some capacity. That was the whole House of the Dead franchise, that, right? House of the Dead was an arcade shooter, which required some skill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the... I think House of the Dead Overkill was all rail shooter on the Wii. Yeah, it was a Wii game, and it was a... They were all rail shooters, but, uh... That House of the Dead Overkill at least had, like, humor and stuff. It was a funny game. Oh, uh, I missed it. You got it. Oh, okay, cool. So I guess these are just... Oh. First Troy? <laughs> hey, you nailed all of the targets. <laughs> Don't sound too surprised there. Such a good pilot. You're a jerk hunter. What? By the way, you were hoarding orbs? Yeah. Just keeping them hidden away, huh? You are up to no good. Quit. Hunter, you are, you are, you are up to no good. Doing some sneaky business. He's selling me orbs. Alright, so Oh, he's got... gone! Oh, yeah, he fucked off. Before we torched our money back out of him. What a good businessman. Alright, I guess we're going. Yep. We got two more orbs in the overworld. I remember how to get to that waterfall one. I don't remember where the other one is. So you know where the other one is, but you don't know how to get to the waterfall one? I Other way around. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'll find it. And the last is level it in is here? in there. Nope. Let's just go in there and do the... Look at the level. Right? Okay. Ice! That's promising. I don't remember what this level is. What is it? Well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples. Oh. Cloud Tem- Cloud Ruler Temple? That sounds like a place with lots of dr death drops. So Cloud- there's a, a place called Cloud Temple, and it was a- it was a, a place created by- this is in uh, Elder Scrolls- a place created by the Blades. Yeah? They're all dragon hunters. Mm. So this is a good idea. Oh, we got some Shaolin hip hop. Wait. Oh, I guess he's the good guy. Yeah, you can tell because he's red and evil looking. Yep. He just wanted the animals to be free and not stoned. That's, that's why. So that's, evil? What that's what confused me. I'm like. I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians. Until that big warlock over there stole my oh, a warlock. He and his friends have used the magic to take over the city. All right. Sounds good. Let's take care of him. Well, that was easy. Why I am. Um... <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 he's out. I know. Oh, whoops. I still like how the first and only Shaolin Showdown episode you saw as a kid was the worst one to judge it by. The, the New York one. The weird one where they all go to, like, the inner city and play basketball. Yes. And Ki didn't Kimiko have, like, a reggae outfit Yeah, I'm like, one? wait, is, is she supposed to be Japanese or is she actually American? Just that, yeah, that's so, that soured me on the series for a while, but I got over it. I didn't actually, I don't think I ever watched it as a kid. I only saw it as an adult. Probably watched it while I was in, while I was in Job Corps for the first time. I <laughs> just, yeah, it didn't kill some time somehow. I challenge you to a challenge showdown. Like, I caught bits of it on Kids WB, but I never watched much of that channel in general. And you were like, man, this series is insane. I gotta watch more of this. What the fuck? Okay. Just a little critter shooting rocks at you. <laughs> Dick! <laughs> At least they give satisfying screams when they die. Yeah. <laughs> We're the good guys. This is a very shallow level, though. Yeah. 
The only, th the only thing that would make it more shallow is if Wu Tang Clan was playing. Yeah. Have you ever talked Why, about does that? You associate them with Shaolin Showdown? No, just, or just Shaolin. Shaolin in general. They're they are obsessed with Shaolin. If you hear them talk, they're just like talking about how yeah we're in Shaolin land. Uh, you got magic. What today. stupid? Fuck. <laughs> it's like the it's like the Simpsons kid laugh. Oh yeah yeah. You got his wand back. You Yay. saved the kingdom, Mario. Oh, is that, is that really it? He blew up the wall. Thank you, Spyro. <laughs> what a fucking dick. <laughs> Doesn't even need to be him who kills you. Are you done yet? Or do you he's need to. He's just hanging out. He, he destroyed the wall. His purpose is fulfilled. Is there a sheep around here? Uh, one. Just hanging out. I remember when they were, like, I guess, uh, the crew was fighting Delong. In Jackie Chan? Yeah, and, and then, uh, and then randomly Toru appeared in a, in a, in a mystic robe. And oh, just... yeah. <laughs> See, he was the chosen one! Yeah. Oh, I gotta redo this. All right. Yeah, he just appeared just randomly in a mystic robe. He didn't have one the entire episode, he just did! It was like, funny as hell. Oh, wait, no, you're not talking about the first episode where he's the chosen one. No, no I'm talking about the one that was after that, where yeah. he just reappeared in the robe. I remember there were a couple episodes then where he just he appeared in the robe, apropos of nothing, in a situation that didn't call for it. And but then the next episode, they were back to like the monk temple where he should have been in the robe and he was in his normal clothes. Fuck it, it's it's comfortable. I, I guess I can jump here. You can glide over there, yes. Yeah. Oh, I, was that also that same two episodes where he just suddenly became brain damaged for one line? Oh, no, that was the, the Jade birthday It was episode. like Jade's birthday. Yeah, and then he's like, it, <laughs> I love birthdays. I'm no, like, it wasn't even, it wasn't that. It was, I like birthday. <laughs> And it we, wasn't even grammatically correct. And my response to that, I, was, I heard that, I'm like, what the fuck, Toru? Did they get a guest writer on this and assume because he's fat he must be stupid? <laughs> no, he talks more, he's... His whole characterization is he hates fish. He's, he's a big, lovable dude. He's Except big. for when he tried to, to cut Jade in half with a sword. We don't rough, talk about that. That was a rough time of his life. <laughs> that was so weird. He tried to cut Jade with a sword. He tried to split her open. In a non-sexual, in a violent way. Not, yeah, not with a, a sword. Fuck. We have actually gone through with it. I don't think he would have. I don't know. Like, do you think they they had any plans of him reform? They didn't have any plans of him reforming at that point in season one. That came way. That just came totally later. Yeah. Oh no, that warlock has my wand. Oh, so it's not the same guy. It's just different people. All yeah, right. different wizards who all look the same. Like any normal police monk, I guess. These monks don't shave their heads. They know, they know the importance of sweet locks. Look at that. The feather cap. Is it supposed to be a feather? Ah! So why'd you seal these in, these guys in stone? They they're not like any stronger than any normal enemy. I guess they're just too aggressive. The wildlife is too hostile. We need to contain it. You got one hit. Thank you for that. All the way back here. Yeah. At first I'm dealing with you, bro. Uh, three and done, huh? Good to know. So... I like birthday. It was so out of place. Just... 
Like, he hadn't just been hit in the head or anything, he just- Maybe he was stoned. I- that's the only thing. he just, like, came out of the kitchen and started talking like that, so maybe. I thought, were they- were they coming out of the kitchen? I thought he was, uh, he was, like, just talking about- He was, like, they were in a car or something? But maybe. There was no reason for him to be talking like that, though. No. I agree, none. It's almost like when, uh... It's almost like we were watching Jackie Chan, right? Yeah. And, uh... You were going and... the right way back or other way. Okay, and... And, uh... We, got, we were watching the one where they were on a train, where he was on a train and he was evading bounty hunters. Like a husband and, Like a former husband Oh, Samurai and Jack. Yeah. What did I said? You said Jackie Chan. Oh, sorry. Samurai Jack. Samurai Jackie Chan. Samurai Jackie Chan. Yeah, it was a, the husband and wife bounty hunters. Yeah. In Samurai Jack. And, and then they were... You could tell they were, like, the one woman was Southern, right? It was yeah. pretty obvious. It was and a they, Southern Belle character and a deep-voiced, like, cowboy bounty hunter dude voiced by Bender. Yeah. And then, as they were fighting... <laughs> they, were, they went up on the roof of the train... And they were fighting up there, and then Aberpro of nothing, the wife pops up, whips out a machine gun, and shouts, The South shall rise again! <laughs> and then, I was so taken aback by it, I shouted back, Don't say that! Like, you know they're the bad guys, but what did that have to do with anything? It was we're just, racist. Hey, we're Southern! <laughs> he just kind of, he, he just fired three. three. Looks, just... Yeah, he fired three and then just stood there looking lost. Well, I did all I can do. You freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Thanks, Bart. Please take this orb. I foresee Bartle. that it will help you on your journey. Okay. But I already got enough orbs. I'll probably just eat this one. Eat it. Eat its power. So there's at least one more orb on this level. At least two more. Okay. There's that lumberjack I saw. So down by that tree, I think. Oh, Lumberjack, that's the one you're- yeah, that's- that's one of them. Trouble with the trolley, eh? I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. Okay, Zero. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. <laughs> Wait, did you catch that? Tree? I like birthday. Yeah, I heard- I heard- Great! <laughs> clip play. Great! Yeah, I'll squash him. No, it was like a guy saying, saying like, great, and he failed to like edit it, that out. Yeah. So it's a hide and seek. Good thing. old stealth mission. So right. you gotta follow him, but not be seen. What if I lose him? Uh, then you fail. Okay. Oh. This time I better not catch you sneaking behind me. He just dragged him back to that tree by his horns. That's oh, okay. They'll stop and turn around every now and again. Also, he jumped good. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm too fast for anyone to follow. No one will ever find my hideout. <laughs> Never ever. Oh, so I have to... You can't be too far behind or you'll miss the doors. Okay. No, I... Darn, I was, I was behind the tree and... I better not catch you. The, br the, bl the branch was blocking your eyes. He reminds me of... The Russian dude in Shaolin Showdown. Uh, I forget his name, but you know the one. Raksha? No. Oh. That was the that was the snowman. Okay. The Oh god, what was his name? I don't remember his name, but you re you remember him. He, was, he worked with Jack Spicer a lot. He didn't. Very stealthy. Yeah, Jack worked Jack worked with everyone. Jack was uh Jack played all sides of the villain tree. I, I had it and I just overcorrected. 
So is this is that it? If I go in the doors, is that over? No. <laughs> I hate I hate when you say stuff like that. Very sneaky. I'm the best dragon ever. Boy. Sneaky. Oh, whoops. I touched him. I better not catch. This is so. I'm in my inner. Like, Spyro has no idea this guy has an orb. He's just playing along with this man child. Oh, that, that is very behind the tree. Very <laughs> sneaky. Yeah. Just. Well, you know what? He seems lonely. I'll pretend I'm in his club. Fuck. I died. <sighs> this is, uh... You having fun yet? Oh boy, howdy am I. Very sneaky. This guy, this guy really needs some better eye care. Yeah? Okay. Keep on him. Off. Fuck off! Oh! Oh. Yeah, I'm the tree. Damn it! <laughs> this time I better not catch you sneaking behind me. Oh, my phone! My hideout is. It's alright. It's fine. That area with the last two trees was the end. Why is he turning around like that? He doesn't just is crane he... his neck. I thought he was gonna do something. He's gotta see the people following him. Ah! You want me to? Yeah. Check out my phone. I'm not leaving unless you wait behind the tree. Oh, okay. I'll get behind your tree. Too fast! Yeah! Too fast, radical! So is Sonic ever really stealthy? No, he, he's, he's not, not really needed to be. No. I mean, I'm sure there were some levels that I'm forgetting where you had to, like, avoid spotlights and things like that. But it was never a key gameplay element, no. That I recall. Bless. What a risky move to play. Why is he run? I made it, you fucker! What? You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. Here, yeah, the secret totally. Decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. Secretly. Oh. Man, I'm glad this guy, he has a friend now. He's friends with the dragon. You know what? You can hang out with me anytime. You can be my What's your name again? You can be my wingmate anytime. Agent Zero. He just he he shows up in the next game as like a Spyro's Murray. He's the muscle. He doesn't, but that'd be cool. He's, he's the son of that dude who lost his spark plugs. Maybe. We can just go back the way we came. All right. He's also chilling out in his Shaolin temple. Yeah. Despite having no real, doesn't look like he has any reason to be here. The only thing he has in common with those guys is the ponytail. Oh, uh, uh, also speaking of Jackie Chan Adventures, when they got to the one where they're like, uh, when they're like, we need, we can't get the dragon talisman because there are no more dragons, I'm like, I thought for sure they were gonna go, oh, we're gonna find the Komodo dragon, that's what the last one's gonna be, they're gonna find a fire-breathing Komodo dragon. Yeah. I was so disappointed they didn't go that route. No, they had to, they had to go get Shenron, or Shen, Shen, what? Shen, Shen Du. That was it, so inside the building. Is where the Shenron. last one is. Yeah, they gotta go slay Shenron or you, wish for the dragon. You get all the dragons. Dragon balls. Go to the right. Hold on. Oh, this yeah, is, they're just oh, naked babies. Hang other way. Your other right. Flaming naked babies. 
Oh, ice breath. Our mystical bell towers have been overrun Murgan. by trolls, and the bells the haven't trolls. been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. <laughs> so, they're rabbits. This super freeze power-up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. Da, 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 da. Alright, gotta freeze the troll babies. How long does it last? A few seconds. Hurry up, and you can't refresh it. Uh, well, fuck. That seems to last a while. That uh, that string of notes is called, or if it has a specific name. Because <sighs> I swear we heard that a lot in Shaolin Showdown as well, and other things. Avatar: Last Airbender. Probably. Fuck sake! Because there's a proper like name and article on Wikipedia. For whatever the what's it called the Oriental Rift da 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 chopsticks. Well, chopsticks is a different thing. That's on piano. Ah. Oh yeah, chopsticks. Listen, guy. We we need to talk. Insert rabid noises here. <laughs> I told you they made a cartoon based off of that, like a series. Yeah. And it called the uh, Rabbids Invasion. And it was just like all these humans just living with rabbits, basically. Yeah. So weird that that concept. Yeah. What? Spyro, please. Spyro! What are you do? <clears throat> well, there's a gap. I keep falling in the gap between here and the wall. Oh, you have to charge it. Fuck in crap. Hey, one bell rung of three. Oh, fuck me. Far away. Yeah, that's not gonna. There we go. Gotta do everything right quick! Yep. Gotta be fast! Hey, this is a Sonic game. Gotta wrestle with these fucking controls! I wonder if you do, do need the hover height. Just... Or, you know what I can do? What? I can do this. Oh yeah? I you was gonna get the, it! Wasn't that gap there? Maybe you can refresh, because they're not unfreezing. Yeah, that, I, I did multiple times. No such thing as a as turning slightly in this game. You, you, when you turn, you whole ass. Yeah. Well, that looks manageable. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a bunch of people telling me how the controls are actually really easy here, <laughs> and you actually suck. Well, you know what. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's Wait, no. still one got bell three. left. What? You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. Okay, thanks. I need a cutscene to know that. Did... Really though? No. Gotta go up to this one on top. Oh, hey, good first try. Is this the one? 
You did that one remarkably Thanks, fast. Thanks, Pyro. I, 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 I you think you could do it. Power of rage. Here, yeah. have a souvenir from the Mystic City gift shop. Okay. Are there more there? Is that the only one? That's all the orbs. He knows what you want. He's just trying to keep it stealthy. I right. think... Is that all the... No, it's not all the orbs. Go back to the... No, that's all the orbs. In, in the level, yeah. Go back to the... In this exit, oh, yeah, level. exit level, yeah. I don't grab think... Him. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab the orbs in the overworld real quick, and then we'll call it. Alright, and we'll beat... We'll beat the boss next time. What a... What a remarkable day it's been. We've just beaten everything. We cleared Rayman. We can start another series soon. And we're gonna have Spyro out of the... Well... This game version... Spyro 2 done. Spyro 2. And then... I don't remember how long Spyro 3 is. Did they change voice actors again for I, Spyro? I don't. It did. They didn't change it before. Did they, it just, <laughs> Warriors nasty. He, he from, just did better. He went from Warriors nasty Nork to to uh, Portal. Whee. Dragons. I like this fact that Spyro can swim in like appropriate fluids now. Yeah. I don't think there was any plain old clean water in Spyro One. It was all toxic in it was some all way. Shit. Yeah. The the Dragon Lands have a real pollution problem. <laughs> Where's Nest? <laughs> the Norks have fucked up our ecosystem. It's time to torch them. God, that's all I, when I think of Spyro, he, I, that's all I think is just I know. That nasally voice. It's a hell of a first impression. God. And then at the very end, he beats Nasty York, and then he goes, I beat Nasty York. <laughs> Damn right you did. Oh, here it is, just hanging out on the wall. All right. Every orb in the game acquired. Now we can open a portal to the to the fuck zone. Do we even have to deal with Ripto? Let's just go all go on vacation. Hey, Laura, you want to come to me with the Dragon Land? It's fun there. All right. Save. Yep. We got all Spyro's orbs done. Next time, I'll I'll do another thing where I get all the gems, and then next time we will uh, kick Ripto's ass. And then go to post game, which will be one uh, one one more stream. So and then, then what's next? Well, oh. Spyro three, eventually. Yes. And then Ratchet. <laughs> and then other stuff. We'll get we'll get through this. Yep, we will. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with See, the terrible controls. And, and remember, if somebody offers you twelve hundred, if somebody offers you a ticket for twelve hundred dollars in the Bahamas, think twice. And don't masturbate, kids. Bad to touch yourself. <laughs> Don't be silly. Don't, don't stop playing with your wheelie. See you next time.